This pit may be a little more interesting. This guy is 20 feet deep, and you can gauge the depth by looking down the access shaft here. So it, it's quite a, quite a ways down, by more so than you would think just walking by it. But the circular test pit is that same depth. It's just filled with soil up to this you know, two-foot level. Uh, so what we can do here is we can uh, maybe inject water at different levels. There are lots of options, but inject water at different levels, pull water out at different levels, have different layers of soil. Uh, we could have pollution buried at a certain level and see if we can extract that pollution with some sort of uh, drilling technology. We could soil, looks like sand. So, so soil would be any, you know, any sand or, or clay or any. There are different types of soil is, is kind of the generic term. It, it gets removed and replaced as needed. So it happens to be sand at this point, but it, it in some cases would be clay or you know, all, all types of soil, depending on the, the problem and the research you're doing. And when you say pollution, what do you what do you ref like? It, what would you actually have buried down there representing pollution? Well, it, it de again depends what you're testing, but yeah. it could be a lot of times it would be a, a diesel oil, you know, type of oh, okay. petroleum type product is a very common ground pollution that a lot of people want to extract from different places. Uh, so there could be pockets of that placed in here. In this case, there's not. Can you shake this? This cannot be shaken, but what we can do is we can bring in a pile driving rig and you could drive a small pile into this kit. It's deep enough to, to make that happen. So, uh, this is kind of a whole other world. This, this isn't really my specialty at all. I'm more of a structures guy. <laughs> but geotech is um, you know, very much hand in hand with the structural field. They meet at the foundation.